everyone, and welcome back. Uh, that was Kirk Hammett and Metallica coming in at number 24 on Guitar World Magazine's Top 100 Solos of All Time with the uh, intro and outro solo to their classic Fade to Black. Uh, a happy tune, that one. Um, I've got a few things to say about this solo. Uh, now, while I, I sometimes call these little talks after the performance an analysis, uh, usually they aren't. Uh, I usually don't get too heavy into theory or whatnot, and usually end up just saying a few short things about the solo itself, what scale I used and how difficult it was and whatnot. I usually end up talking about the artists themselves or an interesting story about the recording of the track or solo and or some little anecdote about the band and so on and so forth. Uh, little rock and roll history lessons, uh, if you will. But today we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this one and talk about some theory. Now, I, uh, I know that some of you may be beginners. Uh, hell, some of you may not play guitar at all and just like enjoy watching guitar solos or following along on my little quest to play all of these solos. But uh, if that's the case, uh, maybe I can teach you something here. Uh, and if you totally understand everything that I'm going to be talking about, then all the better. Um, the reason that I want to discuss this one from a standpoint of theory is, uh, is simple. Uh, there are a hell of a lot of guitar players, it seems, out there who seem to be rather confused with regards to this solo, despite the fact that from a theory standpoint, it's not that difficult. Uh, whenever I do one of these solos, I always research it as much as I can, usually to find something to talk about, like right now. Uh, in this case, I ended up kind of going down a rabbit hole of theory. I was on a couple of uh, forums, a couple of, a couple of them on Ultimate Guitar and elsewhere, here on Reddit as well, uh, trying to find a bit of information about Kirk's tone, what amps he used, and pedals, and I stumbled into a few posts about what scales he was using uh, during uh, these two solos. And I was kind of astounded at some of the answers a lot of these guys were throwing out there. Uh, wrong answers, uh, mostly. Uh, here's the right answer. Uh, the intro solo is in B minor, using the B natural minor scale or the Aeolian mode. The end of the solo, he finishes with an A natural minor scale run during the transition of, of the song's key from B to A. So let me just show you that uh, the B natural minor scale. <laughs> That's the B natural minor scale, and the A natural minor scale right there, just move it down two spots. And another position for the A natural minor scale is right here. Or up here. And uh, so different positions of the, uh, the A natural minor scale and the B natural minor scale. So the point in the solo, uh, the entire intro solo is in B natural minor. That's all B natural minor. That's B natural minor. And the point where he transitions to A natural minor is that little scale run. That is uh, an A natural minor scale run, and that is the end of the solo during the transition of the song's key from B to A. Simple. That's it. Two scales. B natural minor, A natural minor. Now we're going to get to the outro solo and uh, discuss that one with some even uh, crazier answers uh, on these posts. And uh, we're going to get to that in a sec. Now, on to the outro solo. Uh, now before I do, let me tell you uh, about some of the answers I came across in these forum posts, uh, which scale that Kirk was using in this outro solo. Uh, it's in D major. Wrong. Uh, it's in A minor. Wrong again. E Phrygian. Nope. Uh, a mixolydian, way wrong. Uh, B melodic minor, wrong. B harmonic minor, wrong. B minor with a bit of E minor, close, but still wrong. Uh, let's straighten this out, shall we? Like I said, the intro solo is in B natural minor, finishing with a scale run in A natural minor. 
The outro solo is mainly in B natural minor with at one point in the solo switching to the B Phrygian mode. Now this is where I said the guy who said that it was B minor with a bit of E minor was close but still not right. Uh, B Phrygian is a mode. It's a scale uh, mode built off the major scale for soloing in a minor key and there's seven of them in B and the B Phrygian mode is one of them. It has the same notes as E minor, the E natural minor scale. In this position. E natural minor, it's also B Phrygian. But the tonal center of this solo is in B, so you would not call that E minor, you would call it B Phrygian. Same way as if you were soloing in G and you hit this note, G flat, you wouldn't call it F sharp. That is one of the differences between F sharp and G flat, is if the tonal center of what you're playing it in is in G, that note will be G flat, not F sharp, even though it's the same note. Same thing goes here. If you're soloing in B and you play this, in that scale right there, it's B Phrygian, it's not E minor though technically it's the same notes as E minor. You following what I'm saying? Um, so the point of the solo, uh, the outro solo, where he switches into the B Phrygian mode, and it's a very clever little part, uh, is coming out of this. play that very well, but that little scale run there is in B for Jim. And uh, so anyway, that's it, that's it. A 90% of the outro solo is in B, and then the rest of the solo just continues on in B natural minor, uh, except for that little, little scale run there in uh, B Phrygian. Uh, so anyway, that's all I got to say about that one. Great solo, great classic solo from Kirk Hammett, who's on this list three or four times. Uh, while I admire Kirk Hammett's guitar playing immensely, a fantastic metal guitar player, uh, I think it's a bit much, considering that there are other incredible guitar players who uh, are and metal guitar players, some of them, who are not even on this list at all. You know, like Gary Moore isn't on this list at all. And you, you all know how much I like Gary Moore, not so much a metal player. But uh, Marty Friedman's not on this list. And Kirk Hammett's on it like three or four times. So, But uh, not saying anything bad about Kirk Hammett. He's a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic guitar player. But uh, I think uh, because of uh, how big Metallica are, he uh, got lots of votes, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's it for that one. Great solo, a lot of fun to learn, a lot of fun to play, and uh, I hope you liked it. And I uh, hope you liked my little talk about scales and theory. And uh, we'll see you next time. So you guys take care of yourselves. Ciao.